G'day guys and girls, Bezzer Box here with more My Summer Car. Now I am a little confused because the motorbike has returned. Uh, got back from getting that truck and it was just sitting here. So um, I'm not sure if it was like a patch I missed or something. They took it away, brought it back or what happened because I thought it fell through the floor. But as you can see, it is uh, right here. Uh, so let's give it a ride. Um, today's mission is... Can I even... I'm not even use it. There we are. We gotta fuck around with it first to get it to work. So, I'm pretty sure you could pick it up before. But I'm not 100% sure. It's just, um. I have no idea what I'm doing with this thing. There we are. Push it, push it over maybe. It says we can, um. Yeah, it says we can drive it, so. We'll turn the fuel tap on. And we kick, and there we are. All right, so I'm gonna have to use the steering wheel to drive this thing, I guess. There is um, I don't know how to change gear in it though. All right. All right, guys, I think I got it. the motorbike in the van. It's alright. We got it. We got this. Alright, so we're off to the truck because I think today's episode, we need a little bit more money. Uh, it is Monday so we can take our car to get its roll cage, but I want a little bit more cash before we do that. And for that, I think we should do barn finds. Uh, there are three cars, I think. It's like an old Pontiac, an old, um, maybe a couple of I think one's a Firebird or something, and uh, there is a like an old Ford, like Model A or something. So we'll have a look at that, and um, see if we can't make some money, and then maybe uh, deliver my car to uh, Fatality, uh, Fatalis. Anyway guys, um, got to take the truck, it's probably the best thing at pulling. We got a little bit of chips and some beer for thirst, uh, probably might have a drink before we leave here. But, um, the first one I'm going to go to, I think, is a, um, come on, there we are. First one, I think, is a barn find, uh, pretty much this road down here, you turn right, and there's two on the right, one is in a, you know, it's like an old rally track or something, and the other one is in a barn itself, we'll go to the barn first, it's a little, a little further away, but then I'm on the way back, it's not such a far distance. Um, we've got to take everything to Vitelli's, the mechanic. Hopefully he'll have some alcohol for us from the, um, from dumping all that shit at the test area. Or the test, um, building. But, um, one thing we will need before we go, eventually we'll have to get fuel for this too. Um, we could probably order some parts too if we really wanted to. But, um, we'll just see what the price, prices are first. But one thing we do need is the sledgehammer. Uh, that's just too... Where's the sledgehammer? There it is. It's, it's camouflage. Could not see it. But uh, use sledgehammer to open up the garages. And there's my fuel can. Forgot all about that. We'll just um, pop that in here. Uh, so we'll grab a quick drink. Got to press the right button. Otherwise nothing happens. Get right here. All right, and ready to rock and roll. So yeah, the first one will be a, um, should be a shed, I'm pretty sure, or a barn itself, where the, the other, the, the old Ford, it just literally just, um, on a racetrack, sort of off to the side, um, sort of in a swamp, but we'll uh, see that when we get there. Um, I'm not sure how much money you get for them. Um, hope, hoping it's a lot. <laughs> really, really need some money. Oh, I forgot to check um, how much the parts are. Not to worry. Um, thing roll cage and all that. Get that stuff first, I guess. 
There is a car in here. Oh, okay. Um, I thought it was a, a, a bit uh, a bit further away. I thought there was a race course around here somewhere that we had to um, uh, look for first. So, um, I guess the racetrack's, the racetrack's a bit further up. I thought it was closer. But uh, while we're here, uh, let's see if we can't uh, get stuck. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of get stuck. Uh, just because um, whenever I've driven near that train track, it's gotten got me pretty, pretty stuck. All right, so all you do here is um, go over here and knock this wood out. And is that easier? Um, yeah, so I'm not 100% sure, uh, sure what sort of car this is. Uh, pretty cool, it falls all together. And, um, you see the engine? No, no engine. Um, I would have loved it in this game if you could just like find barn finds and um, yeah, do it up. That would have been really awesome. But um, yeah, there's that bastard, that piece of shit. But uh, we'll open up this and we can throw it in. And um, see if we can get this truck. It's got to be in the perfect position. Um, we have a small window here where the train has, has passed to get it just in the right spot. So we can um, tow it out straight. You want to tow it out completely straight, perfect. I think the train only comes from one position, but I could be wrong. And why did you stall? Why did you stall? Why are you moving? This is not what I want. Alright, we could have a disaster here soon, guys. I'm hitting the brakes, not the accelerator. That's why my truck's running out air. There we go. Accelerator. Go, go, go. Alright, All right, now we're, um, we're not stuck, not yet. But I don't like being in that spot, that's for sure. Alright, so we're coming from all the way over here. Hopefully, you can line it up a bit better. This is gonna make it very hard. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually push these other cars. I'm gonna back right in there. Because what happens is, um, let's see if we can push it. If we can push it out, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, what happens if you get stuck on the walls if you don't pull it out straight? Oh, it's going to be very hard. It doesn't have, well, it doesn't have enough wheels to really, really do that. Um, okay, that doesn't help our cause at all. Let's see. We better do this quickly before the train hits us. It really, um stuff this up for us to see if the rope can just too far away okay um let me get this in position now I can't get in my truck I hope that train doesn't come we're a sitting duck right right at the minute all right uh, we might have to just um, do it a little bit further out but um, most important thing is trying to get that car out straight. But yeah, it's... Just um, trying to make it not move. Slide down the bloody hill. Alright, we've got to do this quick. Alright, stops. That's a um, bonus for us. So uh, are we close enough? Oh, well, lucky you guys. I hear a train coming. And it comes from the other direction. Okay, so it goes both ways. I thought it sort of like uh, did a loopy thing. Uh, this is not ideal. But, um, so what I'm going to do is hopefully it will slide. And when it's in the prime position, I'm just going to launch this truck. This is our window of opportunity to get this thing out of here. Alright. 
look. Yeah, see, it's sliding a little bit. It's gonna take a minute. All right. Now I want it to slide. I want it to slide, and as soon as um, you can sort of see the inside edge on this door, probably gonna launch it. So I don't know if we got less time because it's coming from a shorter distance this time. But uh, see if we can make this happen. Uh, the rest of them should be a little bit easier. Uh, I don't think they're near the train track. Um, it's getting close. Alright, let's go. I think we got it out in one pull. That, that's perfect, guys. That is perfect. Uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's a lot of trial and error normally. Normally you get it stuck on the bloody... Bloody uh, barn door, but um, just a little bit of planning and just the perfect timing. All right, now um, hopefully it won't be too hard to tow this thing. It's I've given it a lot of rope, so it's going to be all over the place. Um, and this bit of the bit of this dirt track is pretty bad. Um, it's just like the starting. Like I like to break up the the rally in the th three categories. There's like this windy bullshit with narrow roads and then the second bit's just just a little hilly and then the third you get big straights with um, the same sort of narrow cuts so there's different things to be looking out for when you're doing the rally uh, that's how I do it but um, in saying that I'm not great at the rally uh, the best I've gotten is six but now um, I've got an actual racing steering wheel I can just just the steering a little bit instead of full lock all the time and acceleration and I got brakes, uh, braking with the keypad obviously. If you can do it with the keypad, you, hats off to you because it is, I've got, I've got no chance with it. You guys must have great patience and great skill at the keyboard. I however do not, I'm terrible at games, uh, but I have a lot of fun with them. Uh, sometimes being crappy at games, uh, you might have a little bit more fun than other people because <laughs> when you do something that's very easy to a normal person. Um, shit! No, oh, fuck. Too busy talking. Talking just shit. Um, but that's what I do. I enjoy talking shit and I enjoy games. I'm um, having a lot of fun. Even if sometimes uh, things do not go to plan, um, just trying to figure it out. It can be a lot of fun too. Alright, well, there's the turn off for home. So we've still got a bit to go. I think that this whole thing we're just going to do on the dirt roads. There's no point going back onto the, the main road, I guess. We can't exactly go too fast with this stuff anyway. I think we can go a little bit faster. Now, tip for this game, if you use the steering wheel and you do not grab the gear properly, uh, just hit the clutch and it will just pop straight back in. Uh, I was practicing, uh, playing a little bit. I wasn't really practicing, I was just um, getting gripped with uh, the American Truck Simulator, um, a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun, um, so I might be coming out with a bit of that soon, uh, just to break this up, so I think there's just going to be a lot of grinding, trying to make money, i am sort of gone through this sort of stuff once with you guys, I've done the shit truck, I've done the uh, wood chopping, uh, other than that guys, um, I, I don't really do the, the drunk at the middle of the night, just because of the risk of uh, dying over and over again is too much driving this shit at night and um, and I really don't want to do that. I don't know how much it makes, maybe it's um, lucrative and it's worth it, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't tried it, so. Alright guys, here we are. We've still got the car behind us, I think. Um, whatever brand of rope this is, uh, just get some. Cause, uh, and still we try. Um, I forgot I was in high gear still. Um, cause that car's been all over the place, it's falling down the ditches, and getting the truck nearly stuck. But the rope hasn't um, been affected at all. So we're just driving this ditch, the, um, let it roll away. The car has, um, I don't know, I'm going to push it in a bit better. But uh, yeah, this rope hasn't snapped, this is uh, strong stuff. Don't know what sort of rope it is. Snap ropes all the time doing that shit. 
All right, now we've got to try to get out of this ditch and push that car in a little bit better position. Um, I'm not in the driver's spot, so maybe I should do that. There we go. Um, looks like we can sort of get it up, up over here. Actually, maybe we'll go around the around the back of the tellies. I think it's a bit smoother. There we are. Let's fly across here, trying not to um, flip this thing over again. Uh, maybe it won't let us. Um, it any further. I want to just a little bit closer so I've got room for the other vehicles. Oh yeah, slowly getting there. Just, that's a bit better instead of driving on top of it. Alright, well that'll do. I think he'll be pleased with that. I think he's got some money on the counter for us. While we're here, we can have a look at how much it will cost to, um, it's right at the front door, isn't it? Uh, how much it will cost to paint the car. Um, want this in a certain color. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Nice ashtray. Like that. Dude, that's, that's, uh, that's a lot of money. It's awesome. 50% discount, is it? Oh, it's good. Um, it's a roll cage, we need that. I don't need that. Mm, I don't know which one of these I need. There's one I need just for the, um, I don't need it for the, the carb, obviously. No, I do want the wheel alignment. Don't need that. Uh, nah. So maybe these two and that just costs, it's gonna cost us about 10 grand just for that. Um, I don't know about gear ratios. I don't think you even get into top gear anyway. Um, I need some of this stuff for sure it's a whole lot of money now um, I just want to win this race so maybe I'll just get the um, maybe them to the roll cage maybe the paint the, the paints so expensive uh, maybe we might skip out and paint guys maybe it's just gonna be a, a sleeper just burn stock it's ready to rock and roll because we still need motor parts and I don't want to spend too much time uh, like doing hours and hours um, not playing this game pretty much uh not recording anyway it'd just be me uh just doing jobs and they ain't fun that's a cool van can i get a paint job like that for my van my food truck anyway uh we got a couple more cars to pick up so uh let's get to it it's locked open okay uh that's the car i think i've shown you that before that you take when you leave your car here now let's see how this guy's shit's doing, just for shits and giggles. We got the truck here, can make a little bit extra money. Oh, that's full. Let's uh, do that now, hey guys. And then we'll go uh, pick up some extra cars. I was going to do the same as I did last time and um, wait till they're all full and I could do it. But um, while I'm here, may as well do it, you know. Save me, save me a little bit. I will go get fuel, because oh, we've got to go get fuel too. So um, we'll go get fuel, and then pick up the the uh, second car on the way back, because it's just up this road here, just in a paddock. It's not too far away. All right, doing a lot of stalling. Uh, I think you've got to be, you've got to have the clutch compressed all the way in on this. Uh, but not to worry. All right, guys, so i got no money off him. Fuck him. We're getting out of here. Um, pretty much just going to go to town and um, on the way back we'll stop at the other um, bar and um, ooh, let's go down there. 60, we'll see if we can get 60. Yeah, we'll go to the other barn. Um, what can be it there? No, I don't think it is. The barn looks too nice. What does it? No, it looks pretty fucking me. Anyway guys, come back with it. Alright guys, just coming out of town now. Filled up the truck. Got a case of beer and some chips. Cost me over a thousand dollars, so a bit expensive. Um, I think this is the barn. We'll go out and have a quick look, eh?
that looks like a car in there. Alright, so we'll grab the old sledgy and we'll uh, knock down that, knock down that, so I've got old Pontiac to me. Um, could be wrong. Probably am wrong. I'm oftenly wrong. But um, he it's a bit easier than on that uh, train line. Uh, so I think we just got rid uh, we did the probably the hardest one first. It's getting a bit dark, so it'll probably be closed by the time we get there. Um, that's all right. You can sleep in the, the truck now. Go um, stall it as per usual. I don't stall um, in real life this much. Um, uh, mostly because I drive automatics. I do actually. Um, I do stall a fair bit actually. My car um, isn't the the healthiest of vehicles at the moment. Uh, I've got a 40 year old engine. Um, I haven't pulled it apart or had a look inside of it yet. Um, but it was off the road for about 10 years. Hadn't really been uh, looked after. Looked after. And um, yeah, the bloke I bought it off pretty much got it running. It's got some fuel to it, didn't really do too much to it. And um, yeah, he just handed it over. That's all he does. He um, just picks up old, uh, old cars and gets them going and sells it to people. Old um, Valiants to be, to be more particular. He uh, loves his Mopars, especially Australian Mopars, so... That's all tied up. Should be straight out and uh, straight down the road. I emptied the um, shit truck while I was at the fuel station. As we'll do something. It takes such a long time to fuel up this thing. But, um... Nope. Got a, um... Put the handbrake off. Looks like we're straight out, otherwise we would have got stuck. Uh, nice easy easy way to get back on the road okay guys um, I think the um, racetrack is just to my right here Let's see if we can see uh, there we are so pretty close to it um, just trying to find a good place to get into it I guess this is where they want us to go into it we'll take that and we'll go this way so I'm pretty sure it's in this corner by the water uh, not that water, there's sort of um, water in between the main road and this road. So we'll um, just pop along here. And have a look if we can't find it. I think it's this water here. And there it is, right there. There you go. We'll try to line this up and do it in one shot. I think there's only one one tow spot on this vehicle. Uh, that's the back. And now I've lost it. So I'm going to try to try to wing it, see if we can't um, get it one shot, so look in that bottom mirror to we, to we roll it, so I feel like that's what we're going to do, but I'm um, completely lost with this um, 40s, ah there we are, I see it now, alright, so hopefully it doesn't roll away on us, in this tree. Nice and close. Beautiful. Can't do it much better than that. So there we go. Now off two Vitellis. Uh, got a bit wild on those roads. Just trying to get here as quick as possible. So, um... You don't do it by doing that, obviously. So we'll pop it back in the low. we go. Okay guys, we've got the car here. Just putting it in position. If we won't run over this one. How's it looking? I think that'll do it guys. I think that's uh, perfect. Get off the road. Um, the green car did just pass, so it probably won't be a problem for a while, but we'll just do that for him. There's plenty of room to park your car later. Oh, Park my car, park our car. And here we go, the last one. Ah.
Yo, good man, just let Mike say that. Thanks, buddy. So, um, obviously, I didn't have enough um, uh, shit to pour out at the at the test. No big deal. You just had like ten bottles of uh, that alcohol we drank um, while we're chopping wood. So I'll uh, head back to the the farmhouse, and, uh, price up parts, see uh, uh, what our next move will be in this game, and um, I'll show you on the map. Uh, all the locations of where we've just been today. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> that was close, guys. I was gonna go for it. I was going for it. Oh, that's what happens. Lucky I heard it. Lucky they put um, such a loud train in this game. Otherwise, I would be fucked. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I'm nearly home. Um, yeah, that happened, so <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Alright guys, we're uh, back at the farm. Um, thank God I did the alter alterations to the foot pedal on this uh, thing. There was no way I would have stopped with the the old um, the standard. Just took that rubber thing out of the foot pedal. But, um, it's meant to make it feel more realistic. Uh, it just makes it um, impossible to break, pretty much. So, um, we finally made it home. It, uh, that took a while to do. Um, took me about an hour and a half to do all of them. Uh, so, but we got a lot done. We did get a lot done. We, uh, gave someone a freebie in their, um, ship pickup. Uh, we picked up those three cars, which, um, so the, the Ford was there, the last one we did. The first one we did was, um, around here somewhere. I think maybe around here. Oh, we got a phone call. Hello! Uh, you got serious deal? Nah, his mate. Uh, if I just waited a little bit longer, I could have popped them two up. But, um, yeah, we're going to do the same as before, just let, let them go. Um, yeah, so the one was here, and the other one was all the way up here. Uh, so I think maybe there. But, um, yeah, that's uh, how you do them. Uh, I did have something else to say, but I can't. I can remember. Alright, guys. Alright, guys, we're back. We are one piece. Uh, thank God I changed the foot pedal uh, a little bit. Uh, before, you got the rubber, you got that piece of rubber in the foot pedals with these G920s, and you just can't stop. So, uh, thank God I did that because I would be dead. Um, so, with that, uh, that last car we did, the Ford, uh, just around here. I think this is the track here, and it's just in there, uh, off this road, not off this. Uh, the other one is about here in the barn. That was the first one we did. Uh, the second one we did was around here somewhere, sort of in this mid area, and um, that was it. But we did get a lot done today. We gave this bloke a freebie. I just got a phone call for this guy, but um, I'm probably going to do the same, just let him build up a little bit. Because we did get fuel for the truck that took us down a thousand. Um, we we also fi figured out that bike is back somehow. Don't know what was happening with that. But we got fifteen thousand dollars to play with now. Uh, so we've got to get the rally tires. Uh, no need for these. Um, get the racing ones to do the drag race if you want. I don't like the look of them. I do like the look of these. I like the look of these even better. Um, we pimp out the inside of it a little bit don't need the race we need the, the actual racing seats for the rally so this is just like i think that's window tint i think that's what that is um what we will need or well, we don't really really need it but we, we got this that's like an optional thing we got this if you want optional um but we need all this gear this good stuff we got like a double carby set up here and the bloody phone again fucking hell hello firewood awesome an extra bit of money there. We'll have a look at that a bit later. I'll probably do that off camera. Don't bore you with that shit twice. Now we got extractors. We got the exhaust tip. And we got the uh, straight through pipe. No muffler. None of that bullshit. We will need this. Otherwise, the car's going to get too hot and just blow water everywhere. And then uh, blow the engine up eventually. Uh, we need uh, the racing seats. And the harness needs these seats to go through. You need the seatbelt as well, of course. Uh, racing steering wheel. Why the fuck not? And um, 
So all of that will cost us, uh, that's three, two, five, I'll say. Um, also this, it's going to be a thousand, so it's going to be just under five thousand there. Uh, five and a half. Six, seven, uh, so we can pretty much order this shit. The most expensive thing are these seats. Fucking, that's a lot of money. Anyway, we might order them next time and then the rest of the money we'll save up. Uh, just for the paint work and the, the roll cage for the car. Anyway, my guy's hungry, he's thirsty, he needs to take a leak, and he is dirty as shit. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Um, leave a comment if you want. Uh, let me know uh, just, um, if it's worth getting the full tune job or uh, whatever, it, whatever it is at Fatelli's. Um, which one's the carby and which one is the, um, the rocker tuning on top. Because I'm not sure if that really makes a big difference. I've just got it so it doesn't make noise. It's sort of set in the center guys so leave a comment about that if you want or whatever whatever other comment you want to leave uh, if you want to see more content like that please uh subscribe to this channel um hit me up on twitter that's bazabox at bazabox plays and uh, most importantly guys you have a great day and you guys have a ripper life